So let's set these internal limits and show me how it's done. You've got my help, so what do I need to do? So the first thing we need to do is let's make sure the power's off. Okay. So let's start there. So, so over here, power yep, off? That's correct. So the power's off. Of course, when you're working on a vent motor, it does have power, so we always start with that. Great. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the open limit to this vent machine. So we want to find out how far the vent is actually going to move, and then we're going to stop it at that point and set it, and it'll stay there from here on out. Okay, great. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually come over to the internal limit switch. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and run that motor in manual open, please. Okay. So as the motor's opening, we can actually see that this bronze sleeve is moving. And when I go to set the limit, I can actually stop the motor using these small switches inside the internal limits. Okay. So once I see about six teeth left on the rack arm yep. is when I want to stop the motor. Okay. So we're about there now, so I'm actually going to stop the motor and ask you to turn the switch to off. Okay, off. At that point, the motor's not going to move again. So all I have to do now is loosen the keeper plate. The keeper plate actually holds these limit switches. We okay. have one for open and we have one for close. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the switch just to the point that the actual limit switch is engaged. I'm going to reapply the keeper plate. And then I'm going to have you close the vent machine. So okay. manual close, please. Yep. And, and we're going to watch the vent motor come the opposite direction. Now these vent machines actually have safety switches, so they'll only move once you hit the switch to manual close or manual open. Okay. So manual close, manual we're close. ready. Stop again. And then let's go manual open. Okay. So once we go manual open for the final time, we're just going to keep an eye on that internal limit switch and we also keep an eye on the rack arm. Once again, we can always stop the vent motor at any time with either our switching device or we can use the small internal limit switches. So I'm going to keep an eye on the rack arm. I can actually see it all the way down the vent machine. And once the motor gets to that six, six teeth, teeth, just about there, we're going to it stopped on its own. Okay. And then we have it set perfectly. So if we were in order to move it, though, either a little bit farther open or a little bit farther closed, if we wanted either more ventilation or less ventilation, I normally make a mark with a Sharpie or a pen to say, where's my starting point? So if I'm moving this internal limit, a few teeth forward or a few teeth back, it's yep. very easy to get back to that starting point. Okay. But once I'm done, we need to make sure that the screws are tight on our keeper plates on both sides for the open limit and the closed limit, and then we're done there. Great. Final step is to take our plates, which just actually protect this unit from the elements, put those back into place, and we're done. Great, and you make it look so easy. Oh, thanks for the help today, I appreciate it. Thank you.